Uh, welcome to our 2019 NFL preview. Uh, we're both pretty tired right now, so sorry if we're not as energetic as you would like us to be, but we're going to try. Uh, Zephyr, how are you doing today? I'm good. Uh, Father Ryan won their football game yesterday, 21-24. to 24, So and We're not going to talk about how Blackman did against Alcoa because I'm still mad about it. <laughs> Butch Jones play calling, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, we could have easily beat Alcoa, but we decided to. We had a 14 3 lead at one point, <laughs> and we decided to let them score 20 unanswered, and we lost 23 14. So, um. Let's go ahead with the NFL preview of high school. My, uh. The thing I'm most excited about this year is how many good teams there's going to be. Like, that's very true. There are multiple teams in the NFL that could potentially make the playoffs this year. Would Maybe, you agree with that? Yeah. Very much. I mean, there's there's a lot like, of parity, and then there's teams that probably I think there's a lot of sleeper teams, mm -hmm. like teams that we wouldn't expect to go as far or to make the playoffs that will mm -hmm. make the playoffs. Yeah, and that has the potential to. Um, but what storylines are you looking forward to this year? Well, I'm gonna see. I want to. I wonder how the Colts are gonna be affected by Andrew Luck retiring. Yeah, good, good thing we decided to record this this week instead of last week because it would have been a much different yeah, predictions. It would. I had really to change bad. up a lot of stuff in the last 24 hours. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that that happened. Right. That's gonna be really. I because now that the Colts don't have their franchise defining guy, that's not gonna be very good for them. But it might be good for the Titans. I mean. Of course it's gonna be good for the Titans. <laughs> it's like of course it's gonna be good for the Titans. Like I was so excited when I saw that news. Last night was a pretty bad night for me. Blackman lost. Florida won, but Andrew Luck retired, so that put a positive stamp at the end of my night. Just bitter Tennessee fans. No, if they, I'm serious. If we, we every every game we go on the field, the didn't I predict matter. Florida hold on, hold on. to win? In week zero, I sure did. I on. did too. Most people did. What, what are you trying to say? I just thought you didn't. I just thought you no. picked Miami. I was cheering for Miami. I was too. But well, uh, if, if Florida would have lost that game, I literally would have ran up and down the field just going, Go Gators! You just, just to make people flag mad. Like Tennessee just won. <laughs> yeah, I probably would have. But, um, okay, well, this NFL preview need to stop talking about college and high school. Yeah. Um... So, what division would you like to do first, or what conference, AFC or NFC? AFC. Okay, we'll start in the AFC East. Wow. Who do you have in first place? Oh, easy, the Patriots. I mean, the Patriots have pretty much won, or just easily I just... The Patriots in first. They just ran that division for the last, what, like 10 years? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, nothing's really going to change. The Patriots are still going to be the Patriots. I mean, they don't have Rob Gronkowski, but mm -hmm. Tom Brady's going to probably go find a tight end that works at like yeah. McDonald's and turn probably. into a pro bowler. Probably. Yeah. So. Um, but the Jets are going to be in second place. I have the Jets in second as well. I like that they got Le'Veon Bell and then they got um, Sam Darnold and I think if you give Sam Darnold a little bit more time he could be a really good quarterback in the future. And then their yeah. defense with Jamal Adams and Quentin Williams who's probably one of the funniest guys. In the NFL Achoo. right now. Ah, oh, bless, bless me. me. Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. No. Ah, chew. Oh, bless you. Thank you. <laughs> but he's. But I think he'll be a really. I think he has a chance to at least win Defensive Rookie of the Year. If so. Then <laughs> oh my God. I just. I had forgotten about that. Yeah. Um. Okay. Third, I have the Bills. I have the Dolphins. So you and me are flip flopped on the Dolphins and Bills. Yeah. I just think the Dolphins are still in rebuild mode and they don't really have much right now. And I just, well, they got Josh Rosen. I think that's not saying anything. I mean, that's literally Josh Rosen. I, I have more belief in Josh Allen than Josh Rosen. That's true, but like personally, I mean, yeah, I think if you get if we're going based on but here's the thing, if you like Josh Rosen was the most sacked quarterback last year. If he would have maybe had a little bit more time, he could have been actually a pretty mm -hmm. decent quarterback. And I think Miami might have a better offensive line than the Cardinals. And the thing is about why I have the Bills last is because I just don't think they really don't have enough weapons around Josh Allen. I mean, LaShawn McCoy, but LaShawn McCoy is getting so old, and he's not really – he's not the LaShawn McCoy we saw back in Philadelphia. Yeah, for sure. He's getting real old, so, I mean, it's just pretty much Josh Allen. Okay, AFC West, let's see who – say who we're, who's going to win the AFC West on three. One, two, three. Chiefs, Chiefs obviously. Patrick Mahomes is going to win MVP again. I don't know about that necessarily. Uh, well, 
I, th- I, th- I personally think that Taylor the one. No, I'm kidding. Um, uh, yeah. I, I'm still so mad about that that he's suspended. Oh, he didn't do those drugs. <laughs> Baby, kind of, that, um, was, isn't he suspended for PEDs? Four games. Yeah. Four games. I hope he don't lose all four of those games. We probably will. We'll probably start on four, but oh well, who cares? Yeah. We'll just win 12 in a row. But then, the, so I have the Chiefs. Tyree Ky- Good thing Tyree Kill is back. Mm-hmm. But. Um, Travis Kelsey, and then De- Demon Williams, who's a really good running back. I like him a lot. I think he, I think the way he's able to receive the ball out of the backfield can really help the Chiefs. Mm-hmm. I agree. Like when I first thought Kareem Hunt was lead or was suspended, I'm like, oh, they're not gonna be good. And then I was like, oh, well, Demon Williams is pretty good. So. Mm-hmm. Um, is second in the se- second in the West, obviously, is it's Chargers. Oh, look at that play! Sorry, I got distracted. They showed the Mariota play in the, against the Chiefs in the playoffs. Um, Chargers are second in the West, obviously. Now, this is they're clearly problem. the second best team besides the Chiefs. In but the I mean, AFC here's West. the problem for the Chargers, though. Like, they cannot stay healthy. Like, I heard who got like they just lost Darwin James to like a really Melvin Gordon's holding out. Yeah, he's holding out, and then Keenan Allen hurt his foot, I think, too, or did hurt. yeah, they do have a lot of injuries right now. Now they can when they're healthy, they're obviously a really good team, and they could they could actually compete for the first pl- for first place in the West. Mm-hmm. I actually didn't have them in the playoffs until Luck retired last night. So uh, I would just I had the Chargers. I had them just outside of the playoffs, and now they're in the playoffs for I, me. I just don't think even if. Even if Luck was playing, I still think they would make the playoffs. They, if you've seen their defense, they literally have Joey Boza, Melvin Ingram, yeah, Darwin Yeah, they James. got a really good defense. Yeah. Um, third. So third in the West is kind of a flip-flop. You could go either way with the Broncos or Raiders. I personally said the Broncos just because I, tr- I think they have a better defense. I had the Raiders but, at first, but then I switched it to um, I switched it to the Broncos, obviously because I really like their defense. Offensive, offensively, though, I don't know if they can really produce offensively. I mean, they, I know Philip Lindsay, but I mean that's probably about it. And Joe Flacco is like, I he's I want to say Joe Flacco is kind of old. He is old. He's you old. Know, yeah. He's very old and he can't really stay healthy. So I think that's why I like if the Broncos' offense was actually like maybe yeah if they had an offense, I think the Broncos could maybe compete for a playoff yeah, spot. Yeah, but they just can't really can, like do anything solely on their defense. Mm-hmm. Their offense isn't producing, and then I just had the Raiders. I know the Raiders got Antonio Brown. In yeah, their it, car. they're still rebuilding. But yeah, they're still they, rebuilding. They need one year, a couple years. They don't. To, they don't have a defense. At least one year to rebuild. They actually have some decent players on the defense. Really? They're not like like Vontez Burfict is okay. For I, them. Yeah. Um, I forgot about him. I forgot that they got him. And I mean, yeah, I, who is they it? Got John or Joe Gruden over there? John. Okay, I, I had to make sure. Um, John. John Gruden, Jay Gruden is with the Redskins. Yeah. John Gruden, I mean, he's not – he's a good defensive coach, but, I mean, he did make a dumb decision in, um, you know, giving away one of the best defensive players in our generation at Cahill Mack, which was very, oh, so, you know, so really so stupid. Because, I mean, it, he, if they would have had him, Antonio Brown, and Derek Carr, and maybe Amari Cooper, this whole – off that whole offense and defense really Oh, my gosh, different. dude. They would have been loaded yeah, right exactly. now. Um, okay. AFC North. Oh, me and him are both riding the hype train. The Browns are winning yeah. the AFC North. A lot of people may not be riding that train, but I just think they are. I mean, I'm riding it because you know Jarvis Landry and Odell Beckham are there. I'm riding it because you know Baker Mayfield is, you know. I'm just an LSU fan. I mean, I, I don't mind. <laughs> or I mean, I mean, uh, I, I don't know how to say it. Baker Mayfield. He's he's. I like Mayfield a lot. With the way I mean. He just had Jarvis last year, and, it, it, and the thing is, Jarvis did produce, but like he was Don't able to say anything right now. <laughs> Jarvis Landry did produce, but like, um, he Mayfield was ever was able to use other receivers, and now with Odell, teams are gonna be so focused on Odell and Jarvis that like people like T, who is it? T, what's that dude's name? I forgot. For his name. Uh, the Browns, that Browns? other receiver. Oh. I know Njoku's going to be huge. Njoku, yeah. Duke Johnson. He got traded. Oh, yeah, to the – dang. I'm, I don't remember who got I'm traded. I'm lost. To, well, you've had a lot more going on this offseason. That's very true, very true. Not that I haven't had much going on, but he's had a lot more to remember with what is going on with him. He has to remember, you know, a whole playbook. All I have to remember is, you know, how to hit a golf ball. It's not as but, complex um, Yeah, he got traded. Never mind. But they do get Kareem Hunt after eight weeks, so – 
I mean, I like that. Kareem Hunt is still one of the best running backs in mm-hmm. the NFL when he's on the field. When yeah. He's on the field. How many weeks is he suspended again? I know you eight. just he's, said eight. He's okay. for the first eight weeks. Okay, so about half the year. Yeah. Um, the Ravens. Second, yeah, the Ravens. I I think the AFC North is either going to be won by the Ravens or the Browns. The thing and about the other- AFC North, though, is I feel like the Steelers could maybe come out of nowhere and win it, but I, I just don't see it this year. They could. It wouldn't surprise me, but I just feel like they're going in the direction the Bengals are going, which is down. Them and the Bengals are going down. Ravens and Browns are going up to rule that division for the next few years. Mm. Well, the opinion. Ravens, I mean, everybody's like talking about how Lam- they don't think Lamar Jackson's game will translate to the NFL. I don't know how y'all could say that. The man literally I led mean, them he, to the playoffs. He lit it up last year. Yeah, he lit it up and led them to the playoffs last year. And they almost won. They almost came back and beat the Chargers. So, I mean, y'all need to sa- stop saying Lamar Jackson's game doesn't translate because he's a running quarterback. Like, some of the best quarterbacks are running quarterbacks. I mean, we have Michael Vick, Randall Cunning. We have a lot of quarterbacks that can run. Mm-hmm. And Cam Newton. Good. Cam Newton. So, I mean, like, just give Lamar Jamarcus Jackson Jamarcus Russell. Chance. No, I'm kidding. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> said that because he goes to LSU, okay? That was very disrespectful. <laughs> Gosh. I don't disrespect Jamarcus Russell like that. Even uh, though he who, who's Jamarcus Russell? Oh, I don't know who that is. I've never heard of him. Name one Tennessee quarterback besides besides Peyton Manning that's been good. In the NFL? Yeah. Hold on. Go on, I'll think of one. <laughs> Go on, I'll think what? of one. Oh, yeah, and then the Steelers and Bengals. Um, the Steelers... Obviously, the big thing is they lost Le'Veon Bell and um, Antonio Brown, but they have some good young stars to like fill those positions. We obviously got Juju Smith-Schuster. Keith Schuler was decent. Okay, you know what? Let's just forget the Tennessee quarterback talk because you, okay. you're going to like break your brain if you keep on thinking this. He was decent. <laughs> anyway. For the Redskins. Um, but Juju Smith-Schuster. Um, Josh get Dobbs a- is a great backup for the Steelers. We'll see him tonight. <laughs> He's just that's just hope right there. That's just hope. Okay, Josh Dobbs is isn't bad though. But uh, back okay, to Jesus so, so, Yeah, this, we're but, talking about the Steelers. Um, right. I was talking about him. I think he's going to be a good number. I he's think he's a difference maker for them. He if, is. If, their season depends on how good of a year he has. That's like true. Him. And then James Conner. We all saw what James Conner could could do last year mm-hmm. in Le'Veon Bell's absent absence. So we can't like really. Who's absent? Le'Veon From, Bell. He's absent. What do you mean he's absent? It's not school. I'm kidding. And then the Bengals, I mean, they're just going downhill. I mean, I think they should. I just feel bad for them at this point. Yeah, I think they should, in the draft next year, I think they should go for a quarterback. I think they should just relocate and just. Or (laughs) or the NFL should just say, you know what? You tried, uh, but you're fired, and we're getting an expansion team. No, but like the Bengals, they just need to. I think they should look for a quarterback in next year. No, instead of getting an expansion team or having the Bengals relocate. They should get a uh, replacement team and just replace the Bengals with like the uh, the Memphis Express from the AAF. <laughs> oh, I miss the AAF. <laughs> I miss it so much. But I Steve mean... Spur technically won it. <laughs> if you think about it, they were first in the standings. Did you when see it the ended. XFL is back? So I mean, that should be pretty fun. Hopefully, it's back. With, uh, he hate me. <laughs> oh man, I, would I love hope that. He, I hope he hate me is like the color comment. That would be awesome if he was like the analyst. And just an- Dude, do you know Flimlow did a thing on him? Yeah, if, if he was just like the analyst during games, that would be so awesome. And we gotta, our, okay, we got to get back. We gotta get side, back. And to my left is our, our, uh, is our play by... Uh, wait, hold on. Let me think back. Is our color commentator. He hate me. How are you? It's like, the XFL is back. He hate me. But the Bengals, they're just going down here. I mean, they should look for a quarterback in next year's draft. We got, I mean, we got some good quarterbacks coming out next yeah. year. We have... I mean, Tua, um, Jake Fromm, Jake Fromm, Justin Herbert. Um, did, did you know that dude has a 4.01 GPA? Who? Justin Herbert. Yeah, but he is a smart guy. And he teaches other students biology. Oh, wow. Okay. He's a biology teacher's assistant. He could have helped me last year. <laughs> but I didn't know you could do that. That's pretty cool. Though. But, yeah, so I think if Andy Dalton doesn't do well, I think that um, – if Andy Dalton doesn't do it, yeah. And then, I mean, they lost A.J. Green for a couple weeks. Didn't he do, get a really bad ankle sprain? I'm pretty sure. He yeah, hurt himself. I, I don't remember what it was, but he got a really bad ankle sprain. So, um, that's what they need to do. 
is go for a quarterback in the draft, I think. Or just, yeah, just rebuild. I think it's just the rebuilding process for the Bengals at the moment. So, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, the AFC South. Which got a whole lot different last night. Yes, Andrew Luck gone. Man. Because we all, both of us had the Colts winning, and then the... We both of us had the Colts winning the division, and now both of us have them last, last right? Yeah. yeah. Um, not that we don't trust Jacoby Brissett. He's just not it's proven. Just, he is not just, proven. Yeah. I mean, like, y'all may say, like, oh, he did so. He went undefeated when he was with the Patriots. But, I mean, think about it. It's the freaking Patriots. Mm-hmm. I mean, literally, like I said, they could get a quarterback. They could get a guy that works at Kmart and turn him into a Hall of Famer. So, mm-hmm. I mean, that's – it's just the Patriots. And, I mean, Bill Belichick is a good coach. But I don't think they can do that here in um, – in – Indianapolis. I mean, it's not like the Colts don't have any weapons, obviously. We all know they got T.Y. and Eric Ebron and all of that. Look at that, dude. So, there's, there's a Steelers fan on the TV right now who's not wearing his jersey all the way because it's an A.B. jersey. Oh. <laughs> He's trying to cover it up. I would burn that. I would honestly kinda, would, too. I would burn it. But um, we got the Texans first. Obviously, we have Deshaun Watson back. And I think Deshaun Watson, he could be an MVP contender this year. Yeah, possibly. And then... um. That, that this is going to be the real hard part though for the Texans. See, losing Lamar Miller, yeah, that's going to be real tough. My my big thing about the AFC South, and it was before it even Luck got hurt. I feel like they're all going to beat up on each other. Oh yeah, it does. And just like if the winner reason, of this division will likely be nine and seven or eight and eight because say, everyone's going to beat up on each yeah, other. Yeah, nobody's like it, it's always the winner of this division is not going to win more. It's going to come games. down to a game where they have to face off against each other to get into the. Because that it hasn't it came down to that for the last two years? Yeah, because it was the Titans, Titans and Colts Jags. last year. Yeah, and then the Jags and Titans. Last well, year. the Jags were already in the playoffs, but the, the Titans had to but win. The Titans had to win to get in the playoffs. Pretty yeah, because um, the the Jag yeah Jags were already in, but they didn't decided not to rest their starters for some reason. Probably just because they wanted to be really to spoil the Titans and yeah. look what that turned them out to. Can you stop shaking the camera? I'm sorry, but. Yes, yeah, so we got the Texans first, then we got the Titans next. I actually, yeah, I have the Titans next too. I don't I know the why. There. Yeah, I just, um, obviously, I know we're Titan, Titans fans, but I mean, it's still, you know, we believe it's in the our Titans. Team. It's, every yeah. year we either suck or we barely miss the playoffs yeah. or we barely make the playoffs. That's every year. It's like, how, how are the Titans doing this year? Oh, the usual, we barely made the playoffs. How are the Titans doing this year? Oh, the usual, we'll barely miss the playoffs. How the Titans are getting this year? Oh, we suck. Oh, we suck. That's the usual. I mean, but if Mariota can stay healthy, he's. I mean, if you give this guy a chance to stay healthy, like if he was healthy for that Colts game, I'm I about done with Mariota. Uh, Ryan Tannehill has been it'll looking real good in preseason. Year. Ryan Tannehill. Okay, I'm not saying start Tannehill, but I'm almost done with Mariota. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm about to break up with him. <laughs> no homo. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just. Well, no, he, he's you know what I just thought consistent. about. The Jags could compete for the first. I might switch the Jags and the Titans because the Jags could could compete for first place because with Nick Foles there, I totally Nick forgot Foles about isn't anything except when he's in the playoffs. But that's just my opinion. But I mean, I think Nick Foles might be a really good quarterback, and they already got. Have the you defense. heard what Jalen Ramsey said? What? He said he wants to go play for three teams uh, in free agency. He's he's opened it to three teams. He's either going to stay with the Jags. Go to the Raiders or go to the Titans next year. Oh. He oh, said yeah. that. He's like come out and said that. That's what he's doing next year. I hope year. the Titans get him. That'd be real nice. If oh. we got We'd have the best secondary in the freaking league. That's very true. Kevin Byard and Jalen Ramsey. And Malcolm Butler. Oh, man. Logan well, Ryan. Malcolm, Malcolm Butler's okay. Just... Logan Ryan, too. Yeah, I forgot about him. Adore Jackson's not bad. I am I hate him so much. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. He's terrible. <laughs> Every play I watch, he's getting... Dude, did you see that play he gave up in the first preseason game against the Eagles? Mm-mm. Oh, he got beat that, deep oh, yeah. again. Yeah, I saw every I play- that. by like by like a third string receiver. So I saw I was like, ooh. That's pain. When I saw that, I literally just cringed. I was like, can you get him off the field? Like, <laughs> anyway, but um. And then we have the Colts last. That's the AFC South for you. Yeah. Uh, fun fact about jo- uh, Dory Jackson. If Tennessee's track team was good at the time of his recruitment, he would have gone to Tennessee. Ooh. The USC's. Anyway, uh, but yeah, the ja- the, we got the Colts last. You probably already so know why. So are we going to go over like the whole AFC playoff point. picture? Uh, no, we're going to do the NFC first. But, oh. uh, you guys know why the Colts are finishing last now. We don't trust them. We, we, 
Not that we don't trust Jacoby Brissett, but he doesn't have enough experience yet. Andrew Luck was the thing there, and now it's just nothing. It was him or nothing in my opinion. Andrew Luck had a really good chance to win MVP this year, Yeah, I agree. Okay, NFC. We're going to start with the NFC East. I have the Eagles winning the NFC East. I do as well. Carson Wentz is going to come back this year and have another MVP caliber season. He's had, Hopefully he, staying healthy this he year. He has something to prove. He just can't say – like, he hasn't been able to stay healthy, so you really haven't seen what he could be Did in the playoffs. Did you watch EDP's video about uh, Andrew Luck retiring? No. Should have watched it. He was like, and y'all said uh, Carson Wentz was injury prone? This was the definition of injury prone. That's, That's what he true. said. But like Carson Wentz, like he, we haven't really seen him in the playoffs, so that's why the really my high, like I think he's a good regular season guy, but the playoff wise, the playoffs is like the best versus the best. Yeah. So I agree. if he can, if now when I see something from him in the playoffs, then I'll say he's one of the best quarterbacks. He's a top quarterback in the league, but like I don't think he is right now. So yeah. And yeah. then the Cowboys are going second, even though I hate to say that. I agree. That's Cowboys. Really hate the Cowboys. Okay, Stephen, eh? calm down. But yeah, I, the reason I was gonna, my, my, I flip flopped back and forth when I originally picked this between the Eagles and the Cowboys for about five minutes. The reason I ended up going with the Eagles, the Cowboys have too much off the field distractions right now, in my opinion, and the the Eagles don't really as much. Oh well, Ezekiel Elliott and Jerry Jones are getting together. Yeah, exactly. He's pro- Zeke's probably not gonna be agree to anything just because yeah. of that. Yeah, and then um, Dak Dak wants his money. Yeah, they're gonna have to get rid of some some of those dudes. They're not and gonna then, be able to pay them all. Yeah. Max. And contract. then they just gave Jalen Smith a new contract. Yeah. Making him one of the, like the highest paid linebackers in the mm-hmm. NFL. So I mean, like they they're gonna be in. That's okay. gonna be really tough. And then we have and the Giants for the, going for third. third. You could flip flop the Giants and Redskins. That's kind of like uh, like the Broncos and Raiders in the AFC West. You can flip flop the Giants and Redskins. I just didn't. No I one's mean, gonna disagree with you either way. At first, I ended up going with the Giants because I think they have more weapons. You know, Saquon Barkley, obviously, Eli Manning slash Daniel Jones. Because uh, Daniel know. Jones has actually looked good in the preseason. Yeah, I was about to say. I like at first I thought when they got Daniel Jones over Dwayne Haskins, I thought that was really stupid. But like now. I'm like, oh man, because the way Dwayne Haskins has been looking, Dwayne hasn't Haskins hasn't been looking in preseason, but Daniel Jones has been looking better. Um, oh, did you just talk about the Redskins, but yeah, I, I agree with what he said. One momento. Okay, we're back. Um, NFC West. So I have the Rams finishing it. I first. have the Rams as well. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. I think the well, the Rams are going to use that Super Bowl loss as motivation, and then they got the number one player in the NFL and Aaron Donald. Yeah. According to the top 100, so Aaron Donald and then Jared Goff, he's one of the best quarterbacks. And then to, I think I, I think who's the best? Probably I think Todd Gurley's the best running back in the league. Yeah, I mean they're stacked. Yeah, so so obviously. And then the Seahawks um, are second. I just I have the Seahawks second too. I mean, a lot of people may say like no because they don't have they like lost Doug Baldwin. A lot of yeah, they lost a lot of people. Doug Baldwin, Frank Clark. But I almost said Jimmy Graham. But they still have him. <laughs> but I just think, yeah, like Jimmy Graham's still there, and I think he can still produce. And then they got DK. He's Man. not still there. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I, oh yeah, he's with the Packers. <laughs> Man, I'm lost. Idiots. I'm so lost. But Jimmy, I mean, not Jimmy Graham. Uh, DK Metcalf's there. Um, I think he's gonna have a breakout year this year at receiver, especially with Russell Wilson. And Russell Wilson always finds a way to make the receivers that he has work. Yeah. Like, he doesn't really have to have. He hasn't really had big name receivers except Doug Baldwin. Yeah, I agree. And the um, Golden Tate. Third in the West, I was gonna go Cardinals, but they've looked like absolute garbage during the preseason. <laughs> so I've flip flopped it, and I've gone with the 49ers in third, and then the Cardinals. I think the last. 49ers they could compete for maybe first or second. Um, Jimmy Garoppolo's back. They got Marquise Goodwin, so I think they could be really well. They can be really well and compete in the in the um, West. And then the Cardinals, yeah, they've just been. Oh, they need to rebuild and. Maybe next year they'll. Um, maybe next year. <laughs> yeah, maybe next year. Maybe we'll next year. That. Maybe next year. Um, NFC North. Our first disagreement. I have the Packers winning the NFC I North. I have the Bears. the Bears. I just love that defense. Here's why I'm picking the Packers. I think Aaron Rodgers is going to be out to prove everyone wrong about the injury that no one's going to 
I, I think a lot of people are going to sleep on the Packers this year, and he's going to go out and prove everyone wrong. And I just have the Bears because I just year. love that defense. I mean, I just love Cahill Mack. I think he's probably – he's a top two defensive player in the league. I mean, you could really debate over who's number one, him or Aaron Donald. And then you and then uh, the, you got probably the best safety, one of the best safeties mm-hmm. in the um, NFL, Eddie Jackson. And mm-hmm. then you got Kyle Fuller. Mm-hmm. I'm – Roquan Smith at linebacker. Yeah, I mean, the list just goes on. And yeah, on. so I mean, they got a bunch of Pro Bowlers on that defense, so that defense yeah. is really scary. And then they're all, its not like their offense is any like bad. They have Mit- Mitchell Trubisky. I think he's a really good quarterback. Thought it was Jordan Mitch ha- Trubisky. It's Mitchell. Mitch. Is it it's Mitchell a, or Mitch? It's the, in either one, but isn't no Jordan Howard's gone? Never mind. Tyreek Cohen, um, he's still there, so I think Cohen's gonna do. And I like David Montgomery. He's a sleeper for offensive rookie of the year. Yeah, the way he's I been agree. running in practice, it's been really scary. Um, so do you have anything to say about the Packers? Oh well, Matt I, Lafleur I have, first year for him. Yeah, he did. I mean, he didn't do bad for the Titans last year at offensive coordinator. And I mean, I guess now that he has Aaron Rodgers, he might do some better things. Mm-hmm. I mean, I just the one thing like the Packers got it. I just don't think that defense. I don't think they can trust their defense to really. I mean, I think that I had the Packers making the playoffs, but mm-hmm. I have the Bears going, making the playoffs. Not going too, very far. I think that's they, not me. I think they only make the playoffs because of Aaron Rodgers. And then the Vikings and Lions. I mean, the Vikings. I don't know. A lot of people said the Vikings could just go all the way. Like some people said, the Vikings would just go all the way to the Super Bowl, and I don't know how. I don't. That I could see that. I think they could potentially make the playoffs. I just I'm not very high on them. I mean, they right do now. got. Two I think of the, they're like, just two too of the best receivers in the league. But I, I don't mean, trust them. Who? The Vikings. I don't trust Kirk Cousins. I don't either. Um, and then the Lions, obviously, in last. Not necessarily because they're a bad team, but just because of their division. They're in that division's pretty tough. Yeah. And the Lions maybe just need some more pieces. Yeah, and. To be honest, they should probably move on from Matthew Stafford. Yeah, he's not – he's okay. He's not one of the best. He, he probably wants to retire there, though. But. <laughs> Calvin Johnson style. <laughs> and then the – NFC the South. South. Saints, obviously. Yeah. Um, You know. Panthers second. Should have won the NFC championship, championship last that year. That was a pass interference. Maybe should have won the Super Bowl. Won oh, I think, I think if they would have been able to go in the Super Bowl, I think they would have, like – could at least competed. I don't know if they would have won, but they would have at least competed. Yeah, I agree. Um, let's see. Uh, the, I got the Panthers second. I have the Falcons second because I don't trust Cam Newton, and he's probably hurt now anyway. No, I mean, if you Cam Newton, I think now that I think now that he's healthy, he can be it. like one of the best quarterbacks. Like everybody, like one of somebody that I know said yesterday that Cam Newton sucks. Like no, he just doesn't. The man, are we forgetting? The man literally won an MVP four years ago. Yeah. And he didn't have big my, name my, receivers. My opinion on it is, um, or at least the Falcons Panthers argument is like, I trust Matt Ryan more than I do Cam Newton. And I, I mean, I, I could I, see that. I feel and like they could. Fl- I might change my decision on that. Mm-hmm. But I just like, I just like, I mean, like, if you think about it, the Panthers, I mean, they got Christian McCaffrey. Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe another, they need some more debt. An, another, another thing, I feel like the the uh, the Falcons might have a bounce back here this year. So, um, and then okay, so we just talk, and obviously the Bucks are in last. In yeah, the South for both of us. But here's the thing: the Bucks. This is the this is a make or break year for James Winston. Just like it is Mariota, Buck yeah. player top two picks in that draft. It's a make or break year for him. So yeah. At least Mariota's actually been to the playoffs and won a playoff game. See that yeah. when people try to tell me Jameis is better than Mariota, I tell them that they're just complete idiots and they don't <laughs> they haven't looked at the the history of I mean, the either is, of them. Jameis he could be good, he just try he just does too much. Mm-hmm. Like when he could easily just throw the ball away, he forces like a pass that just shouldn't be happening. Like he'll mm-hmm. throw it to Mike Evans when he's covered with like three yeah. people on him and it'll get picked off. Yeah. So I think if Jameis can be just a little smarter They'll be they'll be all right. Be all right. Okay, we're gonna do our playoff predictions over Facetime because he's gotta go. So uh, we'll see you then in about a split second for y'all. Okay, so I know I said that we were gonna finish the whole preview video and give our playoff predictions in this video, but Zephian had to go home for the night and uh, he's got stuff he has to do tonight. So 
we will be finishing this video. We will be making a part two sometime later this week, and that will just be our playoff prediction. So this was part one. A quick part two that is our playoff predictions will be later, sometime later after this video. So we hope you enjoyed this part one, and um, see you guys then. Thanks for watching.